The babysitter. The babysitter. My friend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. Glenn. It's not Christian. Hey guys, um, and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, my name's Panina, and uh, I like to play video games. Um, for the first time for this channel, I am playing a Walking Dead game. Um, I have... Okay, let me backtrack. I played the first episode already, but it was really choppy for the channel, right? So I thought I'd play it again and um, just record it and go through it. I have a better run through for like the channel and all that. Um, and especially for you guys, so you can like actually like watch the story and like know what's going on. I have seen like the entire like series, but I have never played the game at all. And I haven't watched it in like a really like long time. So besides like the first episode, I can't remember like what's going on. Um, so when I get to episode two, like that's going to be brand new for me and everyone else as well. Super excited to push this out. <laughs> um, I do have a TikTok and a Twitter if you want to go follow that. I'm going to link that or put like the ads like right here in the video so you can like go follow. Um, uh, I post a lot of updates on my Twitter and nonsense or whatever about like what I'm doing and what's going on and if I'm not posting like for a certain day like you'll know on there but um don't forget to subscribe as well because I also post updates here too other than that um let's get started volume up because my volume's all the way up this game series adapts the choices you make this story is tailored to how you play we love it Episode 1, A New Day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh... You know what they say about reckoning. <laughs> I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Oh my god. Every time? Every time? Every time. Oh, snap. I'm already messing up. I'm trying to adjust myself. Oh, my bad. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh, you're from making You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. We got some cops. used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Damn. You wanna know how I see it? Got much choice? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <laughs> the wrong woman. Uh, let's say fuck you, honestly. 
there. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. Well, we got a lot going on. Behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back he's of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. Oh, it man. wasn't me. Uh, maybe he, maybe was, he innocent. was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, Golly. people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing. Oh, shit, bro, you gotta, you gotta watch out. out. This other time... Look at them toss! Look at him fumbling around! Oh my god! I'm sorry. Says every time, every time I see that, it's just like, <laughs> oh my goodness! Yo, buddy's done. Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. His keys. I mean, I'm trying to click on it. Damn it. Get out of here. Oh, the officer's shotgun is over there. All right, hold on, hold on. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right. We need the keys. All right, we got a shotgun shell. Yo, I was really enjoying live streaming, but my computer was not doing it with um, streaming. It was not. I got like a little, little computer thing going. Officer. God damn. <laughs> God damn. But yeah, it was just like, I was really, ha like every time I went on live, I, I was at least talking to somebody. Oh, fuck.
Come on, just grab it. Yeah, yeah, man. Grab it. You're making me nervous. But, yeah, my computer could not uh, handle live streaming, unfortunately. I need, like, an actual, like, PC setup. Officer? Yeah. Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, oh my god. What in the hell? Come on, Lee. Get away from me! Oh my god. The shotgun. We got that shot. Oh yeah, he has that. Oh fuck. Where are you? Come on. We got it. We got it. Don't make me do this. Ooh, ooh. Damn. We almost did not make that. A little girl in the distance. Help! Who could that be? Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh shit. Shots in the distance. Yo, he's really been through it. Hello, anybody? Oh. I wonder if anybody's home. Can we get the famous tree house? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Yo, so apparently there's talk of the town of Clementine returning. Help! Anybody up there? And... I don't know. I don't know if it's coming back as like a comic book or a video Fill game. One of those teacups with some bourbon, if I could. <laughs> but I'm. I have to look into it. There was some like controversy about what was being said about her and <laughs> what she was doing. So. But um, I'm hoping it's like a good reboot of like Clementine coming back because that's Somebody. what we need. Yell if you can hear me. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he's funny. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, man, you got that right. The sliding glass door. I'm clicking on it. Hello. I clicked on it like three Anybody times. Home? I need a little help. All right. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. 
one of them. These people might need more help than I do. I remember when this game like first dropped and like this was all anyone could ever talk about for like a like a good year. And people were still talking about it honestly. Oh, Jesus. Oh god, Lee. I think it's still a pretty good game. And it's running pretty well too. water anything in here oh yeah the walkie <laughs> the look around all right let's let's look through oh we're not gonna look through those look at these cabinets we're not taking no food what's that beeping Anything in the cabinets? We're gonna look around. We're gonna look. I want to get the collectibles and everything. We're gonna get everything. There are three new messages. My goal is to like beat this game at like. House. That's a civilian code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. something on there. Oh, shit. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well incident. enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. Damn. We love you. We love you. We love you. Dad got bit while on vacation. That's so unfortunate. Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Uh, yeah, I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Good. Uh, yeah, where are your where parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Mm, are you safe? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see Clem. you through the window. The babysitter. The babysitter. Ah, oh, she's vicious. Oh, come on, man. My main man. She almost got fucking bit. Oh, 
shit. Ah, uh, Q. I'm smashing Q. E. Ooh, grab it. Ah, uh, the hammer. Ooh. Come on. Yeah. Yup. Except one more. Keep going. Keep going. Mm -hmm. How we like it. Man. Hi there. <laughs> Did you kill it? Um. I say yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Right. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um. Yeah, look for help before it gets we dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Alright. So, off to, like, discover safety we go. This way, Clem. Oh, look, we got some people over there. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> oh, it's hot dish night. Right, me too. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Um, I won't leave you alone. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, we got some people here we can befriend. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're Don't need to hurt you. Yeah, thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Um, what is going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You okay. could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Look at her face! <laughs> Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Damn, her house. The monster's coming up. We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go, bro. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Come on, man. Yep. More? Yep. Come on. That's it. What's his name, Doug? Doug just jumped in. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Exactly.
Woo. See, what I'm so happy about that I'm, like, kind of recording now is that, um, I'm having, like, smoother, like, run-throughs with this. I don't know. For some reason, like, it's running so much smoother! What the heck? My gosh. And I can make better choices because I'm gonna try and save Sean. I'm gonna try and save Sean. I'm gonna try and make some good choices this time. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Shaq. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. <laughs> you brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? <laughs> yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, that shit's yeah. fucked up. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? His name's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Mmm, tell him a car accident. Car accident. That so, where are you headed before the car accident? Uh, out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. I'm gonna yeah, try and be truthful with her, Sean. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? Let's be honest. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. <laughs> House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. <clears throat> I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That the doesn't greens. seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Yeah, he's Your right. son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Herschel! Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Mm, yeah, dead cop crawling on the ground. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. What a okay, cruel joke. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. This is all uh, happening down in Atlanta. I got family down there. I don't know if they live close to Savannah or Macon. It smells like manure. Manure. Manure? 
Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Yo, they they're gonna they got such a journey ahead of them, they don't even know. I love you, baby. <laughs> Having nightmares. I would too. Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet <laughs> your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're doing no offense. Oh my God, duck. Doing everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. That's my boy. Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it that with is, enthusiasm. That's so messed up. I didn't even know you said Word is, that. you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Mm, yeah, sure. Let's tag sure, along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. What's her name? Thanks. Kajita? Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh. I got a little s short... <laughs> I got a little babysitter. All right, let's see what's going on around here. So we have the barn we can go to. Let's talk to Kajita first with Clem and see what's going on. Oops. You have such pretty hair. Hey there, girls. You, look you two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Oh, God. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Mm, yeah, what, do you, what does she do? When Clementine's so, a first grader. Uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Lady, you saw people eat each other. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How is the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Yeah, Kajita was fired. Can you just drove? We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Duck went through. Why would they name him Duck? Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Yeah, um... Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back mm -hmm. in a bit. Okay, Lee. 
Let's talk to Clem. Can I talk to Clem? No. Oh wait, yeah. Here we go. You having a nice time? It. We'll catch you, Clementine. Yeah. Ah. Uh, all right. Um. Let's keep walking. Isn't Herschel in the barn? No. No one's here. Okay. There's no one. Um. I feel like the tractor. Okay, the tractor's over here. Let me wait. I want to talk to everybody before I talk to them. They got a little chicken coop. Look at the house. Definitely reminds me of PA. Let's talk to Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. You need any help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Uh, nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Yeah, what's his plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Yo, I... Hold on. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Changed in his family. You showed interest in his family. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Um, I could not live on a boat. I'm sorry. I need special medication because I get seasick. I cannot stay on a boat for that long without medication. I will. I'll die. I don't know if people did it, like, in the 1900s. I can't. Oh, like, I, maybe I could adapt to it. I don't even know. Wait, was Herschel over here? I don't know. He was somewhere. But, um, yeah, I can't. Did your daddy give you that hat? Mm-hmm. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Him and Duck. Duck looks interesting. Just kidding. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> he said to mess with him, or to make sure he's doing it. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Right, Lee. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Uh, a was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. Yeah, he did. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, 
Let's be honest. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Uh, I'm coming, Herschel. Am I going the right way? Ooh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like living like off on a farm. <clears throat> I think it looks really relaxing. Herschel, my main man. He looked angry. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Um... Yeah, she, she did come to the rescue. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, Keep it to your damn self. Damn. Least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh shit. Oh. No, I'll get my gun. Oh my god. Oh, it's our first choice. I'm sorry, it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be Sean this time. Come on. If we're fast enough, we can do it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can get duck.
We gotta go. Sorry. He is pissed. Sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Kenny. It's my fault, man. I'll take the I blame. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Yo. Kenny. My man, what are you doing? Look at Clementine. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need that ride to make it. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, bro. Fuck! Nah, bro. You can't make one good decision, huh? We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> She's traumatized. Oh my god. Glenn! That's my main man! Yo, Glenn. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. Oh, snap. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids. Let's we say we're okay. Them. But not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. Ooh. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. We Those do. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Uh, Glenn just ran out there. She's, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't, he wasn't bitten. bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over he my just... dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? <laughs> Jesus. Dad, it's just a uh, it, It's Lily, I'll handle this. Reason with them. Dad, you need to calm down. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? 
He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Um, upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, if it was your girl, it's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Yo, you cannot reason with Please. this man. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Lee! Hey, Lee's I'm pissing not the me bad guy here. Her. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, we do what he'll you say. Do you want your little He's girl. just. Oh, but dude, he's just a little a boy. boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Uh. No. No. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come you old fuck. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Oh my God, Clem! Clem! Jesus! Ooh. Oh, why is he on the ground, man? He needs to get up. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, Q, Q, man, Q! Q! Oh, this shit's strong! Damn. Man. Look at that barrel. You okay? Just great, thanks. Sheesh. Oh, guys. Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Look at him. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Uh. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. Yeah, I'll right. keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, you know your way around town. Oh, Glenn. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when Doug, he needs Doug, Carly, For Kenny. Now, get some rest. Catch a Doug, shot. Clementine. I'd like to keep it that way. Lily and Larry. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. All right, now we get to walk around. Yo, I can't believe. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I can't believe I didn't get him angry. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. 
But honestly, Kenny needs to step up his game. Oh shoot, hold on. Let me look here. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Mm. Wait, no. Couldn't figure it out, huh? He said, nah. <laughs> it's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Hold on. Oh, that was funny. There are no batteries in this thing. They ain't got no what? batteries. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. No. I can no. try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Yes, now we have You're to You're a pretty around. good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter. Especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved that you. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm dead. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Alright, I'm looking for the batteries. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, exit. I better get back to it. Yep. Okay, let's keep... Oh, wait, let's, let's uh, look at this and let's talk to him. The IT, IT, the it, IT guy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, huh. uh not right now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want. Let to. me look around still, and then we can go out there. Cause I know there's some stuff we can pick up. Green cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, we got some batteries. You can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know. Huh? Wait. Oh, okay. He was like on the other side. I was like, come on, man. All right, we got some batteries. All right, let's talk to. Yeah, let's talk to them. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's Tom's a tough good. one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Yeah, so Hang what's tight, the plan I suppose. Is... Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Yeah, let's be honest, actually. They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Mm, let's exit. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. 
you let that kid die. Damn! We'll say it happens. <laughs> yes. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Console? Try to let it go. Just be better next time, Kenny. That's all I want from you. Is to be better. Okay, so we just talked to them. Oh, look, we got an energy bar here. Let's go up and grab that. What else is there to grab? We can go in there. Oh, we have another one. Yeah, so let's go ahead and give this to Clem. Let's give her the candy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clem. We love that. What's this? Another one. Yeah, we, we need a few of those. I think I got like three. Well, I, I had three. What's this? Let's give the batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Let's give her the energy Here. bar. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Okay. Um. Did I talk to Lily? I don't think I did. Wait, let's look at this. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I think, yeah, they're over here. Oh, there's another one. All right, yeah, let me give her one. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Not me being sweet to both How's of them. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Well, uh, you're from here. What do you think about all this? What's wrong with him? Ask her where she's from. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Um, was anyone... Yeah, let's ask this was question. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Damn, that was his yeah, family. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were... Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Dang. That's messed up. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. All right. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Okay, we went basically everywhere that we could, so let's go in the office and just see what's going on. Clum's following. I can't. I can't think about them. Oh, it's bloody. That's so messed up. You can't think about them, but like, look at all this, what's going on. Like, this was... Okay, 
why is it like that? The first aid kit. Um. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh, well, yeah, let's talk to Clem. Uh. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Maybe and there was that guy. thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for her. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Uh, Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Oh, uh, yeah, let's I'm exit. gonna keep looking around. Okay. All right, I thought there was more. Yeah. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Okay, now we can look at all this stuff. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Mm, move it already? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, her face. She was trying. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Mm. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Yeah, Clem, the, the parent story is pretty sad. I don't know if you want to know that. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Um... I hope, I hope not. not. It's just complicated, that's all. It's just Why? complicated. It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Um. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. That's right, Lee. Open up. Open up, Lee. Ow! Dang, Are you okay? I hurt bleeding. my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got that bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, the band-aid. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Clem is so trusting of him. There's not a lot of people to trust, honestly. Oh yeah, we Lee? got a remote. 
Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Right. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Anything else? We got the TV. That's what I figured. Okay. Um. Only thing to look at uh, the photo. Find anything? Um, a photo. A photo He's trying to hide the photo, man. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Well, of course. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Not I paid right. attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Uh, is the, the apocalypse? Ended out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. A girl to take care of and look, Damn. Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Um. How can I trust you? How can you? I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Okay. I don't want to be rude to people. I'm not trying to be rude to people. That's not my goal. Um, oh wait, what's this? It's locked, right? It's locked. Yeah. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right, last thing to do is to leave. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Hmm. Let's, let's be honest. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. I don't want to scare her, but I want to be honest, you know? Okay, the next thing to do is to look outside, right? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Fort Lauderdale. They got ways to go. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, man. Let's go look. Let's have a look around. Okay. We got to see how this is looking, right? Jesus. No! Doug is Just me. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. I think so too. We better keep it. Yo, if this ever happens to us, like in real life. Bro, I am not. Yeah, 
That's a hasty fortification job. I'm not playing around. Yeah, like it didn't work. I'm going full on. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. I'm going full on like Pharaoh on people. Being on like I'm going. Bed as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh shit. That place like, I am literally gonna products. be like on my outdoor mode. I'm doing survival mode. I'm doing everything. Like, don't play with me. I watched all 12 seasons of The Walking Dead. Actually, I think it was 13. What's that? I got this. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. Let's go, Doug! You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Doug is amazing. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Wait, we don't have... What about the lock? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough, right? But not enough. Yeah. Damn. No Open way. Sesame. That won't work. Lee! No, he it's didn't. Kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. I know, Doug. He's so freaking funny. Okay, so that guy has the keys. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. All right, I think that's mainly it. That's funny. Let's go back in. Let's head back inside. Okay. All right. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as <clears throat> fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. All right, cool. We are heading out. Oops, can I go this way? Nope, gotta go the other way. Carly, it's time to go. Yeah. Hey, Carly. You ready to head you out? Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, let's go, yeah. man. Let's go. Yo, Glenn, we're coming, man. We're coming to your rescue. Shit. Get down. Yo, she has that thing on go. Did you see that? crazy motel? Sure did. Ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? 
Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Right. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Bro, leave the damsel alone. Look at that. Mm. There's stuff everywhere. I love the pan okay, that it did. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we got a pillow. Yeah, let's grab the pillow. We're gonna need that pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Right. Let's go on this way. Ooh, there's one right there. Okay, let's go. Let's peek. We could smother it. Hold on, I'm... Let me look in here first. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. We're gonna do this first. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Okay. <laughs> none with pillows. Let's let's kill the zombie first with the gun. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Silencer. That was sick. That's how you do it. I feel like that shit does not work. Um Fuck, hold on. Oh my god. Oh the neutral the neutral the neutral man. Put that down in neutral. Oh yeah. Spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It's coming handy. Let's should we let's get the thing first. Let's get the screwdriver. We can bust into that with the spark plug. Yeah. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Yeah, for some reason, spark plugs really do be breaking windows like that. Honestly, I you can't you cannot tell me if this is a spark plug. You cannot put that on line and ask me, is this a spark plug? Yes, I will exactly not know. I, 
But I know that spark plugs do that. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go this way. Now let's push this car. I'm surprised it didn't just fall off the little uh, lift it was on. It was awesome. <laughs> At least the alarm didn't go off. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go this way first. I have a feeling like those zombies will like will be notified or they'll be alerted that I'm there. I'm dead. Let's peek. I think we have to go here first. Right? Ooh. Okay. Let's get this one first. Wait, I thought I could get it. Oh, dang it. Okay, hold on. Cartley's just sitting there. I think I have to do it this way. Yeah. Whoa. Flea! That was literally the first death. Oh my god. I clicked, man. I definitely clicked. That's not fair. That's not fair. Think is the prime walker killer. I should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Oh man. Okay. All right. We're clicking this time. Yep. Like no hesitation. You just you you got to get it. Okay. Okay. So there's definitely a walker right here. This pick is the prime walker killer. I should be Dang. able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Alright, hold on. There we go. I'll wait for him to get closer. Closer? That wasn't like... Th that wasn't like the area I wanted you to hit him. But okay. Okay. Yeah, this one's last. Save the best one for last, you know. Dude, where'd your weapon go? <laughs> to that nice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Alright. <laughs> no, but he knows. He knows, man. Two more. That should help. Okay. Up the stairs we go. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Ooh. It's walking pretty fast there. Alright, I'm ready to click. I'm ready to click. Yup. Come on. Exactly. Exactly. Ready? Ready? Exactly. Oh, he just chopped off that head. Damn. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah, let's uh, let's chop this thing off. Coming out. She looks 
Oh, oh God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. Glenn. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. That was not the time on the place. Uh. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I... Borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? That was so Give nonchalant. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Right. Uh... Yeah, we can't. Yeah, look at her, man. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Why she placed it on the floor? I mean, I get you don't want to touch it, but damn. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Can't leave a gun, okay. man. You sure? Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's I'll say I'm here. With you. Yeah, let's say that. You're a good man. My thing is, he was standing right in front of her. Like she didn't even give it like her some space she just shot herself dang RIP to her everyone all right yeah we had some close calls but glenn is fine and well yeah we're okay I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Oh, the Our keys. We gotta get the keys. You won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. We're gonna get them keys, man. Uh, we actually need to go... I don't know which way I'm going. This way? That's Glenn. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, let's go let's have, a look, have a look around. Okay. All right. Damn. That thing's going. That was pretty silent. Now distract those things carefully. Distract them how? Oh yeah, 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 Can't yeah. Reach that well, we gotta open it. Okay, we're gonna take this brick. Then we're gonna chuck it, okay? Yeah, chuck it. Migrate over there. All right, I mean, those keys. We need the keys, my main man. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? And nothing's gonna lock it when we go back in, like. If 
you were there, I would have died for you. Yeah, his brother. Yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. He's yelling, man. In a sensitive situation. Um, I'm sorry I'm I wasn't sorry. there. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of Uncle Marvin, that helped. Damn, his brother is pinned. Alright, man. Come on, man. You know they're not dead, but you gotta take the head off. That's so upsetting. That's his brother. His brother. Sheesh. Mm. Get the keys, man. God. All right. Now run. you yell come on man nothing's holding it together shit man that was close but we did it it's all that matters I've got the keys great God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. All right, but let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Three clicks later. Oh, oh, no. Shit. The alarm. Hurry. The alarm! Damn, bro. We got Sally over here with a screwdriver in her back coming to the freaking... To be nosy, man, for no reason. Oh my god. 
I'm smashing it, man. I found something. Oh, come on. We got it. We got it. Ooh. It's moving. Fuck. I'm so, like, conflicted. Oh, fuck. Save Doug. Carly gets bit. Save Doug. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I could have saved them both. This is not. I can't see anything. Oh my god. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Take the hand, man. Especially a good friend. All right, man, it's time to go. It's time to go, man. Oh my God, yo, D Carly, I'm sorry. I thought you could have handled yourself. Ah, oh, dang. I feel like that was, I'm sorry. Doug, I hope Doug really like carries himself because if not, Carly, RIP, RIP. Yo, I'm still thinking about Cardi. Like, she didn't. I don't think she needed. She shouldn't. Have, she shouldn't have died. Dang, man. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Lily in the back, eavesdropping. Um, honestly, find your friends. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? But he ain't wrong. You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Shit happens, bumper sticker. Okay, uh, let's, yeah, let's go see what's going on. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, 
You two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Who else is there to talk to? Uh... Doug, yeah. Damn, Carly's dead. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. Yo, he... Oh, damn. I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Uh, yeah. I was going to help you both. Right answer. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Sorry, Doug. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Look at his smug face. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Doug. Uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. She is. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Mm. Oh, God. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. Doug, jeez. Do like my daughter? Uh. Yeah, say yeah. She's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Jesus. Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He's hey, in my business. Lee, do you have a second? Don't do that. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. If you say so. be continued oh the next time on the walking dead I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers never expected they'd starve us out you look like crap Lee when was the last time you ate keep it hey I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Mm. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. 
You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. <laughs> Oh, my main man. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Yo, Telltale knew what they were doing with this game. Yeah, so let's get into the choices, the famous choices from this game. Um, you lied to Herschel. You and 36% of the players lied. I thought I was telling the truth to him. Like, I was going in with him with honesty. You saved Duck or Sean. You and 47% of your players chose Sean. I definitely thought Duck was gonna die if I didn't choose um, him, but I wanted to go with Sean because I wanted to at least try and save Sean. Still didn't work. Uh, you sided with Kenny. You and 48% of the players defended Kenny. Cool. You and 45% of the players gave her the gun. Gave the gun to Irene. Doug or Carly? Oh, I should have chose Carly! Damn! I should have chose her. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, special episode of The Walking Dead. Um, episode 2 will be dropping very soon. Probably either today or tomorrow following the video. Um, expect more content to be posted on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's kind of what I want my posting schedule to look like. Um just so I'm not so um, burnt out with like gaming and posting and editing and all that stuff. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Whoa!